Youth bells all over London town, how joyously they ring. See the lamps are glowing London town, and hear each carol sing. Bring your happy hearts to London town, and spread your kindly cheer. Harkin while you hear, for Christmas Day is near. Harkin while you hear, for Christmas Day is near. Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. I'm sure he'll be sympathetic. Scrooge? Sympathetic? <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman's looking for the sympathetic Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> Cratchit! <laughs> Hurry up, Cratchit! Trust these fools to close before a man can finish his day's business. <laughs> Cratchit! Sir? Every sneeze is a penny lost. Get rid of that cold. Yes, Mr. Scrooge. Sorry, sir. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Merry Christmas, sir. Every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Yes! Gradget. Yes, sir. You'll want tomorrow off, I suppose. Well, if it's quite convenient, sir. It is not convenient. Mr. Scrooge. Mm. Waste of my time, sir. Yes, sir. A proposal for Mr. Ah. Scrooge. Mm. The price is too high, sir. I am not made of money. I beg your pardon, Mr. Scrooge. Would Mr. Scrooge sign here, please? Mr. Scrooge, excuse me. May I speak with you for a moment, sir? Speak swiftly, sir. Exchange is closing early. Mr. Scrooge, my wife has died. I need to pay her funeral expenses, and, and I... Mr. Smythe? Sir, I need more time to pay you. Am I a charity? Am I the state? Your mortgage is due on the 25th of the month. 
Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Beetle. Please, sir. What about my children? Good says pay, sir. Christmas Day, sir? You'll learn soon enough, child, that Christmas is a humbug. interest too, sir. Your payment's overdue, sir. Thank the Lord we're not in debt to Scrooge. If you don't plan to pay, sir, the law will find a way, sir. Never mind him, never mind that. Money has all been spoiled our day. Even if Scrooge behaves that way on Christmas Eve. Leave the miser to his eyes. The Royal Exchange is now closed. Merry Christmas, gentlemen. Everyone sing, fa la la la, ba 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 ba, hey hey, hurrah! Everyone have a jolly good time tonight. Fa la la la, fa la la la. Ba 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 ba, hip hip, hurrah! Everyone have a jolly good time. Where? Collecting, sir, this Christmas time from gentlemen in town For the needy poor of London, sir Now what shall we put down? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> you would like to be anonymous, your kindness left unknown He'd like to be anonymous. I'd like to be left alone. Alone? But, sir, it's Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, sir. Don't make merry myself at Christmas. I can't afford to make idle people merry. Uh, but the poor of London, sir. Gentlemen, are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? If the poor have to eat, let them beg upon the street. Or apply at the workhouse door. If they refuse to earn, then let them learn what a prison's for. I abhor how they whine, how they want whatever's mine. Why should I give a thing for free? Let them beg till they're blue. It has nothing to do with me. I say, let them die and decrease the surplus population. Mr. Scrooge, I'm sorry, but, sir, might I go? Might you pay me early just this once? Picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. My tiny Tim is ill, sir. Youngest son, you know. Wife and children need me just this once. People wanting this, people wanting that, spreading bloody cheer. It's only once a year, sir. Plucking at your sleeve, holding out the hat, singing in your ear. Oh, I'm sorry. I never meant to... Taking off the day, asking for their pay. Only once a year. Only once a year. Well, you can take Christmas and stuff it with bread. And if that isn't perfectly clear... I do not need to know of your family or your woe. I suggest Tiny Tim drink tea. He's only six. Give him tea, give him stew. It has nothing to do with me. Here. Mm. See that you come in early the next day. <laughs> and get rid of that cold. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. Uncle, I was just on my way to see you. Don't bother. Come to Christmas dinner, we're inviting you. Be with family, Uncle, just this one. No, thank you. You'd enjoy it, Uncle, we'd enjoy it too. You'd meet Sally, Uncle, just this once. People taking wives, living little lives, cozier than mice. We want nothing from you. Marrying for love, push will come to shove, and you'll be thinking twice. I will not get angry. Asking me to dine, breaking open wine, taking no advice. Good God. Well, you can have Christmas and marriage as well, and to hell with your trees and your rice. I will not fill my plate, socialize or celebrate with a fool and his family. Well, let your love see you through, but have nothing to do with me. Don't be cross, Uncle. What else can I be when I live in a world of such fools as you? What good 
is Christmas to you, but a time for finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer. Christmas may never put a scrap of gold or silver in my pocket, but I believe it is a good time. Oh, bah. A kind, forgiving, charitable, pleasant time. I believe that it has done me good and will do me good, and I say, God bless it. Quite a powerful speaker. It's a wonder you don't go into Parliament. Good afternoon. A Merry Christmas to you anyway, Uncle. Bah! Humbug! Hear the bells all over land and town, how joyously they ring. See the lamps are glowing. For God's sake, child, shut up and let me pass. Uh. Oh. 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 I have you forgotten how to smile, sir? Smile? At what? Children should earn their wages by more than a song. Come and buy a ticket to the show. Only fools waste their time and money on frivolity. Be gone, sir. Life will pass you by in just a while, sir. And it may be lighter than you know. Oh. Oh. Help a working person reach the light, sir. Woman's not fit for the job. Me husband's ill, you'll likely get the sack. Then it's the workhouse for you both, isn't it? Or take the time for doing right, sir. Good evening. You'll be sorry, sir, when you look back. Spare a coin for someone who is blind, sir. Devil take you, old woman, I love for you. None so blind as those who will not see. Release my arm. Let go of that. Go your sorry way and never mind, sir. Come the future, you'll be. Humankind makes you lose your reason, makes you lose your mind. Next thing you know, I'll be dancing in snow, throwing coins to the poor and the lame and the blind. Well, I wish that the whole world would just let me be, let the whole world be damned. It has nothing to do. You look to yourself. Look to yourself before it's too late. Ah, humbug! Merry Christmas, Mother. Merry Christmas to you, Father! Father's here! Martha! And where's our mum? Here she is. Hello, love. Did that old skinflint give you Christmas Day off? He did. And did he pay you early? He did. Oh, and did he let you put any more coal on the office fire? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, best wrap up. At least we'll be able to afford a little chicken for our Christmas dinner. <laughs> and where's our tiny Tim? Tim! Tim! I'm coming! I'm here, Dad. Happy Christmas! Oh. Oops. We're on to buy the finest Christmas dinner in London. And I can't do it without you, my boy. Now, just a minute. No one's going anywhere till we bundle you up. I don't need a fortune hidden in a shoe. Many men have fortunes, but they don't have you. When I look at you, I'm richer than a king. Yes, you mean more to me than anything. 
Sing back Mama. some good food. We shall buy some apples. Mama loved them so. Father, look, the theatre. When we're rich, we'll go. All the joys of Christmas bundled up with string. But you mean more to me. You mean more, yes, you mean more to me than anything. Right there, Tiny Tim. We've got five shillings. Now, what should we get? Here's a fine bird, my prize turkey. How much is it? I'll take a sovereign. That's a little bit out of our price range. How about some chicken legs? Chicken legs? No. Make it a whole chicken. A small one. How much? Give us a shilling. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. Well, happy, happy Christmas. Christmas. Happy Christmas to you both, then. You look as if you'd seen a ghost. I thought I saw Marley. Mr. Marley died, sir, seven years ago this very night. Maybe you need your eyes examining. Stupid woman. Your gruel's waiting in the pot, sir. And I'll bring you a slice of turkey and a bit of pudding in the morning. Don't waste my money or your time. Suit yourself, sir. Stupid man. And he calls me stupid. <laughs> uh. <coughs> Damn. Damn that cratchit. Jacob Marley. Scrooge. <laughs> My dear Scrooge. <laughs> Humbug. I see. You don't believe in me. Do you doubt your senses? A little thing can affect the senses. You may be a bit of undigested beef. A blot of mustard. <laughs> Um, the dumb potato. 
There's more of gravy than the grave about you, whatever you are. <laughs> Why do you walk the earth? And why do you trouble me? It is required of every man that his spirit travel far, lending help to those he can, no matter who they are. But if you don't go forth in life, spreading joy and easing pain, your spirit will go forth in death, and you shall wear a chain. <laughs> These were coins I hoarded for a rainy day. Now with every jingle, I'm disgraced. Locks and keys that helped me keep the poor away. That's what put the locks and keys around my waist. Link by link, my chain was getting longer. Link by link, I should have heard a clink. Link by link, each year a little stronger. Link by link, by horrifying link. Up my silver and my bits of gold, filling up my vault when day was done. Well, vaults are made of lead and cash is very cold, and around your neck they weigh a bloody ton. Link by link, you're on the brink. It's written here in blood red ink. Unlock your heart, it's not too late Or you'll be dragging something more than twice this way No, please Ebenezer Scrooge Yes? You shall be visited by three ghosts No, thank you When the clock strikes one the ghost of Christmas past. I prefer not to think about the past. When the clock strikes two, the ghost of Christmas present. At present, I'd rather go to bed. Good night. Oh! When the clock strikes three, the ghost of Christmas yet to be. Three ghosts who yet may stop you ending up like me. You remember our colleague, Mr. Haynes? <laughs> mean to the bone he was. It's now too late to do. Not to mention, this can really make you tired. Link by link, your chain is in the making. Link by link, no way to make it shrink. Link by link.
of Christmas past. Ebenezer Scrooge. My life. It's your lucky night. Brought you something bright. Something with a twinkle and a glow. To remember the lights of long ago. Remember the lights of long ago. <laughs> Glimmers in the dark, here and there a spark. Suddenly a picture starts to grow. Come remember the lights of long ago. Remember the lights of long ago. A child, is this who you used to be? A scene shining from your past. The vast vistas of your memory. The shadows you cast. Remember and see the light at last. Remember, Mr. Scrooge, oh, Lord. Onward through the night, onward toward the light, onward to a place your heart will know. Come remember the lights of long ago. John William Scrooge, you will go to prison for non-payment of debts. Three years. No, please. How will we live? Where will we go? Father! Learn this lesson, Ebenezer. Save your pennies, make your fortune, and keep it. Father! Save your pennies, son. Make your fortune and keep it. Yes, Father, I will. Mother, what must we do? We must pray, Van. We must pray very hard. in the sky remind us of man's compassion let us love till we die and god bless us everyone in your heart there's a light as bright as a star in Let it shine through the night, and God bless us everyone. My poor dears, thrust into the world so young. Ebenezer, Fan, I will send for you as soon as possible. Until then, work hard and write often. And above all, do not let your hearts grow bitter. Star by star in the sky, and kindness 
died soon afterwards. You and your sister were separated. The Hawkins Boot Factory. Well, what of it? I was put out to work, and I worked hard. What of it, indeed? Payday, payday, payday. Merry Christmas, my boys. Thank Merry you, Christmas. Here's your pay, Ebenezer. Don't spend it all at once. I won't thank you. I intend to make my fortune and keep it. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Merry Christmas, sir. My dear sister Fan, I've been living and working in this awful place for six months now. I miss you terribly and hope we can be together this year. I often remember the way things used to be. There's a place called home. I can almost see with a red front door and a roaring fire and a Christmas tree. It's a place called home that I still can travel to. It's the place in my heart where I still come home to you. Merry Christmas. Don't forget me. Your loving brother, Ebenezer. Just a place in my heart I can still come home to you. But you were not reunited. Fan married and gave birth to a boy. Yes. My nephew, Fred. He survived the birth. My sister died. I try not to see him. Why are you showing me such miserable moments? To understand the present, learn from the past. <laughs> Where am I? old Fezziwig in his bank. I was apprenticed here many years ago. And who is that handsome fellow there, with Thank the light much. still in yes. his eyes? Thank you very much. It's me. And my old partner, Jacob Marley. How young we look. And who, may I ask, is this pretty young thing? It is Emily. Emily? Emily! Break out the fiddle, Charlie. And no more talk of business. The bank's made a healthy profit this year. So it's Christmas bonus time, lad. I know. Well done, Ebenezer. Good work. There's your bonus. Buy yourself another suit. No, I'm saving my pennies, sir, for a rainy day. <laughs> a rainy day, my boy. This is England. It rains every day. <laughs> oh, very funny, my dear. <laughs> very funny. Come on, lads. Clear the way. Let's have plenty of room here. <laughs> a toast. We're so glad to have you here today.
tonight. Pour some wine and have yourselves a bite. Here's to all who come to pay a call. Mr. Fezziwig's annual Christmas ball. <laughs> Holy noise. What's so hot? You've got to shed your shawl. Mr. Fezzy Wigs and you will Christmas ball. Makes nannies laugh until it hurts. What gets grannies kicking up their skirts? Where do babies dance before they crawl? Mr. Fezzy Wigs and you will Christmas ball.
I have something important to ask. Yes, Ebenezer. First, I'm going to work and save and never get into debt and Shh. never go. I need so little to make me happy. There's a place called home I can almost see with the red front door and a roaring fire and a Christmas tree. Yes, a place called home. I'm there at the door watching you come home to me. Through the years, I'll recall this day. Good morning indeed, Mr. Marley. A queue at the door. And the smell of money in the air. And a humbug if we don't do well today. I'd like to borrow ten, sir. What's your collateral? My wife's brooch, Mr. Scrooge. It was her grandmother's. Those are real pearls. I'll give you eight, plus interest. Here's half, Mr. Marley. I'll bring the rest first thing tomorrow, sir. Kindly see that you're prompt. I need another month, sir. You know I'm good for it. Very well. But your interest's raised. Sign here. My husband is ailing, sir. He's always mm. ailing, ma'am. Tell him. He must still come and see us. Yes, sir. It's only a temporary setback, of course. 
You're too young to know that business has its ups and downs, my lad. I wish I could believe that, Mr. Fezziwig, but I don't. Once a business goes down, it stays down. I helped you both get started. Why won't you help me now? It's a large sum to lend, I know, but you could if you wanted to. You're doing well. We are doing well, sir. And being a man of business yourself, you must understand our position. Your bank is failing, sir. You're not of an age to start over. We cannot afford to throw good money after bad. I'm sorry. Your heart has hardened, Ebenezer. I learned a good lesson from my father, sir. The one thing between us and the grave is money. I pity you, if that's what you think. That is what I think. Good day. And he treated you like a son. Do not turn away, Ebenezer. There's another shadow yet to see. Hello, dear. Emily. Hello. Emily. Emily. I have something to say. It will only take a moment. And it is just this. You love nothing quite so much as gold, Ebenezer. So I've brought you some more. I think you'd be quite happy to have it back. Building a fortune takes patience. I thought you understood. You're the one who doesn't understand. I never wanted anything but your love. The two of you here, all day, late into the night, Sooner or later, you'll work yourselves to death. I won't be here to see it. You've never been poor. You don't know what the world is like. Love cannot protect you from it, but money can. I'm doing this for you, Emily, to keep you secure, to keep us both secure. No, Ebenezer. Those locked boxes and ledgers, these late hours, you're doing this for you. Emily, no! I shall waste no more of your valuable time. Bless you, Ebenezer. Fool! Fool! There's still time! Go after her! Don't let her go. You did let her go, and the years flew by. See that you do, sir. Well, I think I shall go home a bit early today. That's unlike you. It's, it's Christmas Eve. Business has not been brisk. I'm a bit tired. Not as young as I used to be, I suppose. All right, then. Good night, Ebenezer. If you must. No. Oh. Screw. Marley. Drink up. Strikes two. Go. 
most of Christmas present. seen the likes of me before. Aren't you? Oh, never mind. I suppose you've come to impart some sort of lesson, some meaningful moral. Excellently said, Mr. Scrooge. Hmm. You call this Christmas dinner? This measly pot of gruel. You aren't just a sinner. You're an outright fool. Why, the present's full of pleasures. Things to see, enjoy, and taste. And at Christmas no one measures his wallet or his waist. So I've done you just a teeny tiny favor. Oh, don't thank me. It's perfectly free. Just a new experience to savor. Some laughter. <laughs> Some magic. On. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge in particular, a great, big, beautiful Christmas present. Abundance, charity, goodwill toward men, enjoyment, hilarity, goodwill toward men. Come share some, spare some, no matter when, Ben. Get with the spirit, because you're going to hear it again. Abundance, charity, and sheer delight. Enjoyment, hilarity. They're yours tonight. I'm here, sir. Dear sir. To set you quite bright. Never a doubt that your heart is about to take flight. There's a joyful spirit in your heart, my friend, that spirit's mine. Dine on the bread of human kindness, my fabulous fruit of the vine. A treat, sir, a sweet, sir, a little indulgence, and then abundance, charity, goodwill toward Charity. So much in store. Old friends and familiarity. Good times galore. A twirl, sir, some girl, sir. To make them roar more. Get to the spirit, cause you're gonna hit it some more. <laughs> Very unlikely. 
Son, Tiny Tim. Oh, what a day! I don't care if it's grey, if it's Christmas. Together, people will say we're the luckiest family in town. Mother is making a perfect feast and wearing her loveliest gown. And father will come and he'll carry me down to Christmas together. Pratchett never told me Tiny Tim was ill. He tried. You didn't listen. <laughs> come along, Tiny Tim. Everybody's waiting for you. Up you jump! On our way, then. Dinner's ready. Look who's here! Tim! Here's to the lad who makes everyone glad that it's Christmas together. Here's to the one day we don't give our worries a thought. Pudding, chicken, the finest in London, children. Look what your mother has wrought. Oh, and look what surprises your father has brought for Christmas together. I give you the founder of the feast, Mr. Scrooge. I wish I had him here. I'll give him a piece of my mind to feast upon. My dear, the children, Christmas Day. What? I'll drink to his health for your sake, but not for his. Oh, Mr. Scrooge! Mr. Scrooge! God bless Mr. Scrooge. Down every lane, every Tom, Dick and James Off to Christmas together Look, they're as glad as canaries let out of a cage 
nice to relax from the world of business and have fun for a minute. Or stuff it with onion and rice and sage and Christmas together. Such a comfortable spot for our Christmas together. Sharing a morsel of bread and a jigger of gin. <laughs> Living a needy and nice hot meal and saving us sinners from sin. And aiming a blessing, the ship made it. Wicked old Uncle Scrooge. What? Shame on him. He said Christmas is a humbug. He's a comical old fellow, but there must be some good in him. He's my mother's brother, after all. And though I never knew her, I still hope to know him one day. Here's to his health, even though he puts wealth over Christmas together. Sad when a fellow has nothing to love but his gold. Year upon year you invite him here. I hope that his dinner gets cold. Well, here's to the year when old Scrooge may be home at Christmas together. My dear family, here's to Uncle Scrooge wherever he may be. Bedtime, son. Right to your father. Do you know what I think? What's that, my dear? I think this was the best Christmas ever. I think it was too. Next Christmas, I shall walk up the stairs by myself. That would be a fine gift. You won't have to carry me ever again. I never knew there was anything to spending Christmas together. 
even this child who has nothing has so much to share. What is this feeling that overwhelms me? He looks as fragile as air. How gently his father is placing him there. Good night, son. A Merry Christmas. Good night, dear father. Happy Christmas. Poor child. Poor child. One of many. Spirit, are they yours? They're every man's. This boy is ignorance. This girl, want. Beware them both. But most of all, beware the boy. For ignorance shall be mankind's doom. Have there no refuge, no resource? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? What of Tiny Tim? Will he live? He'd be better to die and decrease the surplus population. You mock me with my own words. Who are you to decide who shall live and who shall die? If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. No, wait. What must I do? Tell me, what must I do? Spirit, spirit, please. Uh, God, what am I? What have I done? We left so alone. Christmas yet to be. I fear you more than any ghost I have seen. I hope to be another man from what I was, but the night is waning fast and it is precious time. To the rhythm of the shovel in the gravel And the murders of the spirits that you fear Causing in the shadows of the future Your future lies here Listen to the echoes of the voices in the shadows All the people who you never try to save Listen to the footsteps of the people who'll be dancing on your grave. Listen to the rhythm of the hammer on the coffin and the murmur of the people rolling here. Listen to the music of the future. I know your purpose is to do me good. Lead me to the future. I don't know what hells await me, but I know I have to go there to return. Tear me into shreds and recreate me. 
tell me that it's not too late to learn. I can feel the shiver of a shadow passing over, and I have a premonition it's for me. Lead me to the future, show me everything I'm terrified to see. Didn't he die? Didn't who die, sir? Terrible mean old what's his name? Couldn't care less. Neither could I, sir. Funeral day and no one came. What did he leave? Nobody knows. And nobody chose to mourn his fate. Have, Have a nice day. day. Have a nice Christmas. Look, Look at, at the, the time, time I'm late. late. I know these gentlemen from the exchange. Of whom do they speak? What am I to learn from this? Shouldn't I let a shirt like this go in the ground? Grab the sheets and curtains off his bed. Wasn't worth your spit while he was still around. But, but just, just look how much he's worth now that he's dead. What is this? Ragabones! Ragabones! Merciful <laughs> Give you three and eight, but well, these are nice. And I'll take these besides. These are nice. Oh, these will fetch a great sum. What a lovely profit he provides. No, no, it's mine. Gear off, gear off. I don't have a fortune hidden in a shoe. Many men have fortune. All I have is you. We shall not always forget you, Tiny Tim. My little child. Tiny Tim dead. No, no. His gentle spirit was from God. Here lies Ebenezer Scrooge, the miser, who died scorned and unmourned, having done no good, given no joy, kept no friends nor family on this earth. But spirit, hear me, I'm not the man I was. How can this be when I have learned so much, when my heart is so full? Why show me all this if I am past all hope? I have seen a future full of darkness, all the darkness of my heart. At my door, a world in need of kindness, from man's kindness, I departed. All the hours and days and years I've wasted, all the joy and love I never tasted, all the errors of my past replaced with something strange. Give me time to change. I can see a future full of beauty and my spirit starts to fly. I can change the world, yes, it's my duty. God forgive me, let me try. I'll spend my fortune on the ones who need me. Go where kindness and my conscience lead me. Give my heart and soul to all. God speed me on my way. And to God I pray. The Christmas spirit lived within me Yesterday, tomorrow, and
I'm home. I'm home. <laughs> oh, 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 here is it. Either bells all over land. Tell no boy. Well, you have to tell. And here is Caroline. Boy! What day is it? Why, it's Christmas Day, sir. Why, it's Christmas ah! Day, sir! Then I haven't missed it. The spirits have done it all in one night. They can do whatever they like. Of course they can. Of course they can. I shall live in the past, present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Here's your, your hat. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. I'm as light as a feather. I'm as happy as an angel. I'm as merry as a schoolboy. I'm as giddy as a drunken man. Boy, boy, do you know the poulterer? Oh, should I pot it? Oh, an intelligent boy, a remarkable boy. Do you know whether they have sold the prize turkey? What, the one as big as me? The delightful boy. It is a pleasure to speak with you. Yes, the one as big as you. It's hanging there still. How much is it? What? How much? A sovereign, sir. A sovereign. Well, then, here are two sovereigns. What? <laughs> Go and buy it for me and keep the change. <laughs> what? Come on. And... Merry Christmas. What? Blimey! <laughs> I brought your slice of turkey and your bit of pudding. Thank you, my dear, dear Mrs. Morris. And <laughs> a Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> What a sky! What a happy man am I! What a joy to be alive and well! God, what a street! What friends you meet! What a sound! What a lovely smell! Yeah, lovely smell! Merry Christmas to you! <laughs> Here are coins for the poor, just the first of many more, and a check for your charity. And if we save a few, let it all have to do with me. You scarf, you catch your dick! Smythe! Hear the bells as they chime, Mr. Smythe, you're out of time. And you're now oh, out sir. of debt as well. <laughs> Go buy the tots a toy, buy lots, have a good and a fine nowhere. If I'd known what I know, I'd have done it years ago. I'm as light as a man can be. Oh, the whole world is new, and it all has to do with me! <laughs> Happy Christmas! <laughs> Tickets for every child. My treat. <laughs> There you are, old woman. Bless you. Thank you. Mr. Scrooge was laughing, gave me quite a fright. But something made him see the light. Maybe he's been drinking, gave me quite a star. Maybe Christmas touched his eye. <laughs> Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas, sir. I've got it. The prize turkey. Well, just like that. Come on, follow me. Happy Christmas.
Christmas. Who is it, Tim? Mr. Scrooge. Cratchit. What's wrong? Where have you been? I thought I told you to come in early. But that... But that's tomorrow. It's Christmas Day, sir. Is it? Oh, dear. Well, silly me. <laughs> I guess I'd better give you and your family a Christmas present, then. <laughs> Here you are, Bob. <laughs> it's the prize turkey. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Bob. A merry Christmas that I have given you in the year. I shall raise your salary, and I will endeavor to help you and your struggling family from now on. Bob. Bob. Oh, he's all right. <laughs> I'm fine. Come along, children. Tiny Tim. If I may, young sir. Here's his coat, Mother. Wait, we're coming. Oh, thank you, Mr. Scrooge. Ah, you're as light as a feather. I believe we shall become fast friends, young man, you and I. Come along. Ah, here we are. Oh, Merry Christmas, Bob. Merry Your coat, Mr. Scrooge. Thank you, Mrs. Motts. Oh. <laughs> Why, bless my soul, who's this? Why, it is I, your Uncle Scrooge. May I still come for Christmas dinner? There's a place in my heart where you've always been for me. Sorry. We're so very happy you've come. Welcome home, Uncle Scrooge. Welcome home to Happy Christmas, Mr. Scrooge.